All right, hello YouTubers. Time for another uh, update on my homemade uh, fume hood here. <clears throat> There's been a few modifications. First off, the bathroom vent fan I used did not last long. I Just like three weeks and it was done. And you could see how bad the corrosion is in there. And I don't know what went bad on it. Maybe some of the motor windings or something, but it's acting like it's open circuit, so it's not running anymore. And first thing that happened was it must have got some condensation up here in the plug because I turned it on one morning and there was a massive explosion and it blew a uh, molten copper all over the inside of the fume hood and uh, the wires were just hanging down bare after that. Well, I, I got around that easy enough just by connecting directly to the motor, but then a couple weeks later it was done totally. <clears throat> now my original idea was to get another one and mount it vertically on the back of the box so that uh, condensation doesn't drip down from the top which was a problem I was having. Problem is the cheap bearings they use in these things don't work unless it's mounted this way. And I don't know of a brand of bathroom fans that doesn't use the same sort of cheap bearing setup. So you can't mount it vertically on, uh, on, on a wall in any orientation. It just doesn't work. The bearing doesn't work. It has to be horizontal like that. So I thought, well, I could build a plenum, but that's a lot of effort. And then I'd have the same problem again with just the thing rotting out in no time. So let's go around the back here and I'll show you what I did. I found um, a bilge blower for a boat. 130 CFM. I think it's actually moving more air than the bathroom fan did. And a few plumbing fittings. And I've got it coming out of the back of the box now. So if there is any condensation in here, it's not going to run into the box. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go this way. And the motor and the wiring in here are sealed. So hopefully, you know, it's all plastic. There's nothing but plastic and rubber inside this thing exposed to the airflow. So hopefully the fumes, the hydrogen chloride fumes, the nitrogen dioxide, the whatever else I'm doing inside the box, won't rot out the motor. But the motor was cheap. It was it was like twenty one dollars off of Amazon. So if it if it if it lasts a few months, that's great. Hopefully it'll last a lot longer than that because like I say, it's completely sealed. So now I've got the. Got the air coming out of the back of the box rather than the top. I still need to plug the hole in the top of the box. I'll do that. Now the only problem with this is they only make these in 12 volt DC. So I had to hook up a 12 volt DC power supply to run it. But that's not really a big deal. <clears throat> the lighting inside is 12 volt DC too. So I can sort of kill two birds with one stone there. Speaking of the lighting, got another little issue with it in here and have a look. I don't know how well it showed up on the camera, but the uh, the plastic that the LEDs are embedded in has gone yellow from the chemicals. So the lighting is getting more and more yellow over time. So sooner or later I'm going to have to replace those and I'm going to have to find some way to uh, protect them from the fumes. Maybe just, maybe just a couple layers of adhesive clear adhesive tape over the top of them will work and I could tear the tape off if it starts turning yellow and put a new new sheet on. We'll see. But I think this is going to work a lot better. Certainly I won't have the condensation dripping down into the box like I had before because it's going to be coming out there in the back. So <clears throat> anyway, that's that's my update. So the bathroom fan's out, the bilge blower's in, and the fume hood is up and running again. I can stop working out in the open air again. Back to having a fume hood. I love it. Thanks for watching.